three, two, one. Hey, welcome everyone to China Challenges. Uh, I'm Simon Lang, and I am uh, trying something new. Uh, we are going to talk about an experience I had um, going to a restaurant uh, this weekend, and um, it's got to do with this uh, certain time when uh, a lot of Chinese businesses are um, be discriminating a little bit against uh, foreigners. And um, there was uh, some foreigners in uh, Guangzhou that were evicted. And um, so some people say that was discrimination. Other people said that was um, just other things. Uh, the government said that all the new uh, coronavirus stuff comes from uh, imported cases. Uh, and uh, although they said that 90% of those are Chinese returning, that uh, there's this idea that foreigners are bringing them in. So um, anyway, the, uh, I wanted to explain uh, about this. So if you're interested, stay tuned and we'll talk about it. All right, let's get into it. So um, I'm a foreigner. I've been living in China for 15 plus years. Uh, I speak some Chinese and I have been here a long time, okay? And um, currently in China, there are certain things to help people protect themselves from the COVID-19 virus. Uh, some of these are uh, uh, doing temperature checks when you get into uh, uh, restaurants. Uh, let me see. I may have a temperature check gun thing now. Um, oh. Anyway, you just put it to the forehead. You go bleep bleep, and then it gives you the temperature. You don't even touch your, your head, and it's quite accurate. So I think they, they're quite useful. Uh, I... I have one my, of my own, but I can't seem to find it at the moment. Anyway, that's okay. So, uh, in addition, they want to check if you've passed quarantine or not. So, everybody coming up from abroad, Chinese or foreigner, has to stay in a hotel uh, for 14 days and is quarantined. And uh, during that time, your cell phone is there. And then at the end of it, you can use this app, the Alipay or WeChat, um, to get a, a green QR code, like this one down here, okay? And then you can use that to get into places. Now, just uh, two weeks ago, people were very, very strict about it. And now, uh, they're not so strict about it, except if you're a foreigner and except in certain places, uh, it seems. But I haven't been going out that much, so maybe it's, it's having issues in other places. Anyway. So uh, this is what it looks like. Um, I'll show you later. Uh, and people also are required to wear masks to enter uh, uh, supermarkets. Again, this was very strict before, two, a week, two weeks ago, for like the and, um, two months until uh, the beginning of February. It was very, very strict. You, they were people... Um, who tried to get in physically and then they were prevented and they started fights to try and get into supermarkets and other places to buy things. And people were like, no, no, you have to have a mask. Okay. Uh, now they're getting even pickier. So some of the masks with a filter on, you can't go into hospitals because they say they're not for hospitals. It has to be fully covered like a surgical kind of mask. Anyway. Uh, so uh, on Saturday night, um, what's it yeah, uh, my family and I uh, decided to go to um, this is Nanjing Da Pai Dang. Okay, this is a chain store, but it's quite famous for Chinese food. Okay, um, uh, I would say similar to like Red Lobster in Boston. It has some very authentic Nanjing dishes, and then also um, very authentic uh, Chinese food. Um, and this is in a restaurant bar area called 1912, which is also filled with um, bar areas. Uh, and this is like 
very well known. They have branches all around the city. And if you mention this, people are like, oh yeah, I know that. Um, the style of food is actually a lot more on snack style, dim sum type of food dishes. Um, but uh, still, people will, will know, okay? Uh, the outside, you can see they have these like lanterns. This is big going in. There's a guy dressed up in um, Chinese garb to be the door guy. And there's a little sign outside. You can see the times and some of the dishes. You know, here's a, a Baltz dish and here's a, um, I think it's a duck dish. Okay, so the backstory is we arrive at the um, 1912 at the same time. Uh, but I need a little time to park my bike and uh, my son, my two sons and my wife go on ahead and go into the restaurant. So they are a little bit ahead of me and I come up maybe um, one or two minutes, one minute after. Okay, so there's a little separation between us. Uh, and they go in, they say four people and they just get immediately taken up. My kids are look a little bit Chinese and they have masks on. So there was like no question about it. They just took them upstairs. So, but then when I come in, I, uh, I say, oh, I'm coming in. I was, uh, and before I can say anything, the door guy say, oh, uh, no, no, you can't come and something. And I was like, what? <laughs> My wife just went, went in. Uh, I need to just go, go up and eat, eat the food. And, uh, and he's like, uh, uh, no, 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 you know, uh, uh, you know, I can speak some Chinese and see so starts to speak a little Chinese. And I'm like, no, I, uh, uh, and, and he says, wait, I will get the, the boss to talk to you. So, uh, I asked him to, to, to go get the boss. And then uh, he has to go and get the boss. And then at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm going to start recording this. Okay. So uh, is the, the boss is talking, to, he's, he's called someone on his little radio and the boss is talking. He's wearing a mask. Okay. But I noticed when you come in, he didn't have a temperature gun. He didn't ask to see a green QR code. He didn't ask my wife or my kids for either of those things either. So then the boss comes along and, um, uh, Okay, so just stop here. She says, uh, So I ca we cannot accept foreign uh, guests at this time. Uh, and so then I'm saying, okay, is this something from the government? Can you show me uh, where it's written down that you can't do this? Uh, give me some notification. What's, what, what is like the, the paperwork behind this? Because if the government says, uh, says to a business, you should not do this. They will write it down and they'll put a stamp on it. Okay. Um, they took, I had my bicycle garage knocked down because they wrote it down and had a stamp on it. So I know about this. You have to have the stamp. Okay. So if it doesn't have a stamp, then it's completely arbitrary and up to each people what they're doing and what's going on. Okay. Now she's also got a radio and this person's going to come and show her a, a cell phone or something on the cell phone. So I'm not sure what that, that is about. Um, so may, maybe that's this. Anyway, let's, let's keep watching. So, so I'm asking, um, do you have a text message from your boss? Do you have like some other information that you can show me in writing where you've, you've said something wrong here? And so has this government told you about this? So she avoids the question, says, I'm really sorry. Now, at this point, I, I say, I have, uh, oh, I think I sort of met, skipped it. I have a, a, a green co code, okay? And, um, and so at this, that, after that, then she's like, oh, really? So you've been here for 14 days and not left the city? You've been safe like this?
So it, it annoys me that the first thing is saying, no, we cannot re uh, accept foreigners in this, you know. So we have got, received this like uh, announcement, but they didn't say from who, from what about, you know, seems. So here's the little cell phone that you're showing, but I'm not, uh, maybe that is approval of something. I'm not sure or, or something. But I'm 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 pushing back, okay? Because I want to have dinner. It's it's freaking annoying. Now I say I have the green code. Yes. Okay. When well, she says, "Oh, uh, please, please show 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 that to me," okay, and then I get it get out the the code, and uh, show her the um, the stuff. You, you can get it updated to your current date. Okay, because if you uh, sometimes if you travel to some place, so if a, uh, and you stay longer one day or something like that, then it will will come up. Okay, so that was my here's my uh, here's your name, here's a date, and then that I just use the one from today, but it was the same thing at that time. And then she lets me in, which is great. Um, but I was I was annoyed for a while. <laughs> Actually, what happened is the uh, big bouncer guy. Uh, I said, "Oh, my my family's already upstairs. If I need to go, then I, I need to bring them down." So then, she, she, they called them and they've come down a bit. And now, and then I have to explain. No, no. Now I've given shown them the green QR code. It's okay. We can go and eat. Um, but uh, they didn't ask for that at the beginning. They didn't check the temperature. They didn't have anything official posted saying that we don't accept foreigners or any any crap like that, you know. So it's just really annoying to have to push push back and get get this because this is supposed to be one of the top restaurants in Nanjing, you know. It's 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 ridiculous. Um, uh, so we get there, we have this one. Also, <laughs> this restaurant is one of the better ones for. Uh, uh, the situation because you order through an app. You scan um, this code here on the side. We're, we're table f uh, 70. You scan the app and then you pay for it. You order the dishes and then they deliver it to you, your table. So all they do is deliver it to the table. They don't have a waiter talking to you there or helping you with uh, ordering. It's just order on the app and then they bring it to you. You know, there's several in that because they want to keep costs low, et cetera, you know. Um, so um, we, we finished the meal. It's okay. Uh, as I said, I've, I've had it before. It's, it's a particular one. They have uh, one um, shrimp and carrot kind of dish uh, uh, that it's like a, like a shrimp cake, but they leave the shrimp heads on and then many ones. But they're crispy and fine, so my my son liked that one a lot. Um, everything else was just normal, and it was fine. It was fine, you know. To fill us up, and it was good. Okay. Um, uh, the other thing, uh, I just uh, wanted to point to what I'm. I've been worried about the uh, U.S. and U.K. That, uh, um, and one of the key things is they don't know how bad it is because the testing is still not not going on in a widespread way, you know. Um, <coughs> this is a chart. It's a little bit dated for the U.S. one is, is March 8th. But this is per capita of 100,000 people, how many people have been tested, you know. And you look at Korea and Guangdong, China, which is like one province, it's next to Hubei. It's not even the Hubei province, next to Hubei. Um, but it's one of the powerhouse uh, provinces like Jiangsu, um, has 2,820 per 100,000 people, you know. So it's just staggering. Um, and uh, uh, I think the use of the QR code and use of uh, mass and temperature checks, I think are very useful. And I think that people will, can accept this. And if you are worried about um, people having the disease, then this is something we say, hey, even if you might have it and you might not even know it. And so wearing a mask and, and having a QR code 
could be useful. But even if you have that system, you still have to have uh, companies and other people accepting that, oh, this is legitimate, you know. But uh, thank God I had that QR code. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had dinner there, you know. They were going to be annoying about it. So, um, yeah. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. Um, and so when you're in this situation, make sure that you try to get them to give you documentation. If, it's, if they show you a piece of paper, take a picture, uh, get who is the, the manager. Um, and I think also me, maybe she's realized I was videotaping her. And I'm like, I'm going to make this a big deal if you are ridiculous to me. Because it is it's discrimination and we pay taxes. We, we are, are part of the community and we help people. We host events. We do things. Um, and we shouldn't be treated as second-class citizens, okay? Um, I know, yes, the, there are mingong that are treated as second-class citizens, but even they get to go to a restaurant and pay money if they want to go, uh, uh, go to that restaurant, you know? Anyway, see you next week. I'm going to try and make this more regular. Uh, hit subscribe and uh, give me some uh, – feedback on how you like me doing the PPT video presentation, if this works for you. All right. See you. See you next time. Bye.